Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't look at my janky nails, they're disgusting. Um, and this side's still not done, by the way. Go me. It's October 6th, I've been trying to wake up a little bit earlier than everybody else and it kind of backfired today um you guys saw me get up like early i think it was almost like six o'clock um and then i already had my coffee brewed for me i just have like a regular coffee machine right now and um i'm just drinking some ground starbucks coffee um but i set the coffee for early so i did come out here and poured myself a cup of coffee um it kind of backfired though because little man got up literally five minutes after i got up um but i didn't go up and get him right away i just kind of let him settle in the bed for a minute and then my husband had to get up for work and i'm like okay i guess i have to get up like a half hour earlier so 5 30 not 6 um, so maybe we'll try that again tomorrow, but I really like just that time in the morning to just, just, just to be alone and sit there in silence. I sat for like 10 minutes maybe, but it's okay. I still had a little bit of alone time. It helps me like wake up and just be by myself. So that's my goal is to wake up early. Anyways, I'm getting ready to go work out in a minute. I am just going to do my E2M um fitness it's so basically on mondays and wednesdays and fridays are circuit days what's today thursday um so i missed yesterday's circuit i just like did something on the treadmill um so i'm gonna do the circuit today and it's like a 30 35 minute circuit i'm gonna actually do it in a couple minutes as soon as i'm done with some coffee and get it done so today's video is pretty much going to be like a follow me around what I eat in a day kind of vloggy vlog type of video um I'm not going to vlog like my workout and stuff but um I need so many groceries you guys my cupboards and my fridge are like bare I don't know why I feel like I grocery shop all the time and I just I never have anything in the house but I'm not shopping today. I refuse to shop today. Maybe I'll shop tomorrow. Um, I want to get like a meal plan down, like what's for dinner this week and like things like that or this following week coming up. We might order out something on Saturday and yeah, but I've been trying to like cook dinner every night and all of that. Um, but I have been following the WW plan and I have been really good. I get, um, I'm just opening it so I can show you guys. I get 20 points a day, <laughs> but my free foods are avocado, potato, um, eggs, fruit, veggies, and is that it? Chicken, eggs, like stuff like that, and then avocado. That's what I chose, and it's been great. In the morning, I usually have like, three scrambled eggs, a little side of like plain potato hash browns, and a half of an avocado with everything but the bagel seasoning. That's like been my go-to. I think I'm out of hash browns though, which is fine, but I might have like eggs, I have an avocado, but I've also been having like a protein shake in the morning with coffee, but now I'm out of iced coffee, so I'll probably just have like a premier protein, um, or I'll make of actual protein shake and do a smoothie maybe we'll do a fall smoothie today and like keep up with the fall vibes maybe we'll do that put a little like pumpkin in it cinnamon i don't know i'll have to see what i have and then for dinner literally it's like a free-for-all i have a rotisserie chicken in there that i bought like two days ago i'm actually gonna recook it because i never we never ate it um it's just been in the fridge since i got it so I'm gonna put it in the oven and heat it up, shred it, and I might do something like that with some crescent rolls for dinner. Not sure. Yesterday, I tried to be like this little Pinterest mommy, and I made these, look at these. The cutest little like hot dog crescent roll spiders. <laughs> and my little one was like throwing a fit and wouldn't eat it. And I'm like, I just put in all that work, putting the little eyeballs on and everything. 
you're not gonna eat my hot dog spiders. So I had two of them and they were delish. So those are a really cute idea. Um, I found that on TikTok, of course. Um, or no, Pinterest, that one was on Pinterest. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna finish drinking this coffee and shut up because I talk too much. Um, thank you guys for watching this video and clicking on it. I'm so glad to have you guys back. Yeah, I'm gonna get my workout in and then I will see you guys for my first meal, my breakfast. By the way, I don't count coffee, but this is just coffee. Nothing in it. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, I just finished working out and I just put the baby down. I look crazy, I'm so sweaty, I need to take a shower. But I wanted to make this pumpkin pie protein shake and it's October. It's like the perfect time to show you guys the shake. It's so delicious. Um, I had to omit a couple things, but I will tell you like what I would normally put into it because I don't have those ingredients. Um, but this is going to be my, like a meal replacement for me. So this is going to be like my first meal. So like my breakfast, I guess you could say. So you're going to need some type of protein, whatever you have. I have this vanilla flavored garden of life protein. I'm just going to use one scoop of this, do whatever serving your protein is. So one scoop of this, I think is two points for me. Um, that's a serving. So if yours says two scoops is a serving, then do two scoops. You're going to need a teaspoon of some vanilla extract, a banana, some cinnamon, some pumpkin pie spice. You're also going to need pumpkin puree. So you're going to need about a half cup. Um, I just opened it so I can scoop it out. So pumpkin puree. Did I say banana? I don't even remember if I said banana. You're going to need a banana. Um, and then whatever kind of nut butter you like, almond butter, peanut butter, whatever, I'm just going to be using this PB2 powder um, because I don't want to waste all my points on peanut butter. Um, and then whatever kind of milk, you can use water, you can use almond milk, um, oat milk, whatever. You need a half cup of milk. You could just do a half cup of water. And then you would want to add um, like your greens. You can add spinach in this. You could do a little bit of like organic like maple syrup if you want something like really sweet. I would use like this for zero points if you want to add syrup. I'm not going to add any in here. I think that the peanut butter, the vanilla, and the banana will give it enough sweetness. Um, and then you can also add a half cup of like coconut milk, unsweetened, um, or you could do like dairy, some type of dairy. You could do like a half cup of like yogurt. It'll make it thicker. I'm just going to do ice today, but I'm going to put all these ingredients together and I'll show you the finished product. <laughs> So good. I'm gonna top mine with a little more cinnamon. And a little bit more pumpkin spice. Granola is so high in points, so I'm literally gonna add the smallest amount just to like top it off and make it look super pretty. It's literally very minuscule. good cheers you guys so it's six points total for this protein shake honestly you can make it lower just use water don't use oat milk and like just switch things around like that um yeah but it's really good it's really filling this will be good and it will keep me 
full until lunchtime. So I'm gonna drink this, go take a shower, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys. So it's Saturday and the last time I filmed was Thursday. Um, my life will not always be this chaotic and just crazy. Um, and my videos will not be all over the place. <laughs> but um, Thursday night I was going to film a dinner for you guys. And my older son came home and he ended up having a couple friends over. And um, I was not about to cook for a bunch of teens. So I ordered them a pizza and I ended up just having the rotisserie chicken, a potato, and some um, steamed broccoli, um, which I don't really have to tell you guys the points. Chicken zero, potato zero, broccoli zero. Um, but I wanted to actually cook something and not just tell you what I had and show you guys something. So. It is Saturday. It is about 11.30 in the morning. I've been up really early. Um, I went to a spin class this morning at this new studio that opened up with my sister. Um, this is our second time going and it's been really nice going. I've only been going like Saturday mornings just to like switch up my workout routine and go do something different and get out of the house because I'm with the baby every morning. So that's really nice and my husband's home with the baby then over the weekend or Saturday morning. Um, but we got home, I made a protein shake. I made that pumpkin protein shake that I showed you guys um, in the beginning of this video. This time I added um, a little bit of the syrup and some Greek yogurt to it um, to make it like more creamy. It was so delicious. Um, but I think for lunch I'm gonna make like a tuna or salmon salad thing with some um, seaweed like crackers or something like that. I am just brewing some Starbucks coffee right now because I didn't get a chance to drink my coffee this morning and I'm feeling the caffeine headache start. So I'm doing that, but I wanted to show you guys that and um, yeah, I'll kind of just combine these two days and we'll see what happens. Hey guys. Okay. So it's lunchtime. I am so starving right now and I want to show you what I'm making. I have a can of tuna. This is actually the chunk white albacore. It's not my favorite but this is what we have. It's two points for this entire can and then I just got some um, packs of the seaweed. This is the teriyaki seaweed and it's one point for one whole package. So I'm going to make like a tuna salad and then we'll be eating it with the tuna wraps delicious. So I'm also going to be cutting up a little bit of cucumber, some red onion. I'm going to use some salt and pepper. I just have regular mayonnaise. So I'm going to use a tablespoon of mayo and some sriracha to spice it up a little bit. So this whole thing, I think a tablespoon of mayo is three points. Um, use light mayo if you have it. Save yourself some points. But everything combined is six points for all this food. So I'm gonna chop this up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we're done. My tuna. And I don't know if you can see my dog here. See his legs? His favorite snack is licking the can of tuna whenever I cook tuna, so I'm gonna give this to him.
talk before the moment slowly zips away And then <clears throat> you can like totally make this lower point. So instead of using seaweed, I mean it's only a point for the whole package, but you can do I cut like a little cucumber slice. You can just like not put the cucumber in it and just pack it on like that and eat it. Um you know what I'm gonna add? I'm gonna add some onion powder and garlic powder. Um, you can put whatever you want in your tuna. Use the light mayo. Save yourself like two points. You could put like a little bit of olive oil in here. Some I've done apple cider vinegar just to give it a little kick. Um, That's what it's gonna look like. And you're just gonna take a little seaweed packet. I love the teriyaki ones though, it gives it such good flavor. And then you're literally just going to spoon a little bit of your tuna in the seaweed. And you just eat it like that. Mm. Mm hmm That's so good. I'm gonna eat this slice that I cut up. Mm. Mm. I'm a huge fan of sparkling water. I drink it. All the time, I have so many different flavors. I've showed you guys sparkling water a hundred times, but water we just came out with a spiced apple. You guys, this literally smells like fall in a can. It's like apple, cinnamon. You have to like cinnamon because it does have like a cinnamony flavor, I guess. It's delicious. If you haven't tried Waterloo sparkling water, it's one of my favorites, but this one especially, it, I think it's only like a limited edition. So, or like, yeah, limited to the fall and then it's going to be gone. So get your hands on that if you can. I got mine at Whole Foods, but I don't know if it's anywhere else. So good. So I, I'm going to go drink this, have my meal and... I'll see you guys in a little bit.